Okay, this video shows off our new digital ecosystem library site. So like, things like, you know, is blank approved for use in FCPS? You know, what are some alternative tools that I could do something similar to this thing? Do you know of anything good tools for a particular purpose like media creation? Do I have to get parental consent to use this? So this digital ecosystem library will help you answer those teachers questions. And ideally, if you point them directly there, they can answer their own questions. So on the ecosystem site, front and center, there's a link to the digital ecosystem library. You require, this uh, requires VPN to get to, so you need to, to be logged into VPN. And then the digital ecosystem library, as we had last year, last year it looked more like a, a spreadsheet, uh, but it lists all of the tools that are approved for use in FCPS. And this summer we rolled out a new interface to that. It looks more like eCart search. So I could at, at the top just start typing in a title. So if I was searching for Flipgrid, or just type in flip everything with flip somewhere in the name or description will come up you know flipgrid is one of those and you know, we still have these green yellow red approved approved with conditions not approved labels on each one i could click on one and, and open up an, an about page about it um, i'll do that towards the end of the video i've got a i'm on the basic search screen so i've got three filters so i could search using the the bar at the top I could search by audience, elementary, middle, high, by curriculum, and there are more than these, begins by purpose. So those are the three filters on the basic search. I can sort by name, by approval status, by the date it, the record was last updated. If I go over to the advanced search, I've got more filters. So audience, same as before. Ecosystem category, you can learn more about those on the ecosystem site. But if I wanted to search for like my core programs, I could do that. By curriculum, again, searchable. By device, like what's for iOS, what's for Windows. Purpose, same thing we had before. What's their pricing model? Do I buy it once or is it a freemium or what's going on there? By permission, do we have permission to use it? Do we have a contract with this thing? Do I need to get parental permission? And if you have more questions about parental permission, I highly encourage you to check out the session that Leslie Borgenhagen and Elizabeth Hernandez are doing during the ESPITS kickoff. So they're going a lot more in detail about parental permission in that session. By approval, approved, approved with conditions, it's not. And then that also takes you back to the basic search. So I'm going to do a couple of exa example uh, searches. So let me go over to the advanced search to do that. So say I wanted to just filter by an instructional purpose. So say I'm looking for something that does media creation. So what media creation tools do I have available to me? So there's a filter for that. I've got 86 results and so I could page through those or filter that down further if I wanted to do that, if I want, wanted to reset things. So say I wanted to filter by multiple, multiple criteria, like say I wanted to find mathematics titles. So let's do things that are for math at elementary school that work on a Windows machine. So that's elementary, mathematics, windows so i've got nine titles that meet those three criteria all at the same time let me reset that and let's say i'm a high school person and i want to see what tools do i have to get consent parental consent before i can use so i can go down to the approval uh, approval the permission filter so things that require consent would be required and required C note. So there are 106. And so then I could look through these and see, yep, high school required, consent required. So it has, 
notice all of these have conditions and those conditions are consent is required so you can con do these multiple filters at once is what i'm getting at here so let, re let me reset things and then go back and just search for bring up flipgrid as a as an example so flipgrid is said you know conditions apply each one has its own about page so again it's approved with conditions little description who the audience is all that metadata is there what ecosystem category is it locally supported or fcps provided that kind of thing um, this is new approved alternative products so say you know so flipgrid parental consent is required for all ages but if i did not get consent or if i didn't want to go through the process of doing that i could use instead you know, Wixie or VoiceThread kind of does the same thing. Those are also approved in FCPS. And so for each of these products, uh, we've been identifying not just what it is, but some things you might use in its place. How are accounts created, logins, login, how logins happen, notes, and then also brand new at the bottom, consent notes you know, what are our future plans for this so for this flipgrid we love it we would love to be able to you know get rid of parental consent requirements for that one so in the future isd is be working with that vendor to see if we can get some sort of confidentially confidentiality agreement signed and so that would change its consent status from required to you can use it because we have that signed agreement in place. So I mentioned again, if you have more questions about parental consent, I highly suggest you see uh, Elizabeth and Leslie's session on that during the uh, SBITS kickoff. So if you want to come back to this, the research results, return to search results, want to clear everything again, you clear everything again. So uh, that's a quick tour of the new ecosystem library for faculty and staff. Uh, one more point not this exact product um, but we will also be for the first time ever publishing a parent facing version of this so it will list the same ideas not not everything that's like things that are not approved or things that are in in the pipe pipeline will show up for parents but we will pu be putting out a version of this that is parent facing so to give our community more transparency of what tools are approved for use with their students.